How's it going guys? This is Toxic Toaster here today. And today I'm teaching you guys how to make a texture pack for Terraria. So step one is going to be your file location and the order they need to be in. So first you're going to make your way to your files on your PC. You're going to go to Documents. After you're in Documents you go down to My Games. And then to Terraria. Once you're in here you will basically be given all the Terraria files and you may have to make your own. If so, you just name it Resource Packs exactly like this. It has to be exactly the same or the game will not pick it up. Then you go into your Resource Packs and here you see, you know, I have my own. But today we're making a new one. So you're going to make a new folder and you can name this one whatever you want to name it. This one does not matter. The game is not going to pick up on this one. So I'm going to name it Tutorial. So now that you've got that done, you go into the tutorial pack and make a new one called content. And these all have to be spelled correctly. Make sure you are doing that. So after that, you're going to go inside content and there's basically three types of things you can change in Terraria. So first is going to be your sprites and you're going to name it images. Second is going to be your types of wording, which is like dialogue and stuff. The names of your items, and that's going to be localization. And the third is music, which we will not get to in this video, for I have not messed with it. And it's going to be named music. And that's basically the creation of your texture pack. That is your ins and outs, and we'll be messing with this throughout the video. Now on to step two. Alright guys, step two of this is to go to your Steam, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. This is how you find all of the game files. Right here they are. So while you're in here, you're going to go to Content and Images. Here you will basically find every single image in the game. Now what we want to do, since this is an XNB file, we're going to want to change this. So to be able to change this, you're going to want to go to Safari or Google Chrome, whatever you're using, and search up T-Convert for Terraria. Doing that, you'll go to this one right here. This is the link. I will also put it in the description. You go to that and it brings you back to the forums. And if you're on PC, you're going to want to download this first link right here. I already have it downloaded, so I'll show you what it looks like. So this right here is basically what you're going to need. And basically, once you got this up, this is how you got to navigate to find your files. I showed you that opening for the Steam. So while you're doing that, you're going to go to your program files in your like main save cache. Go into your program files. You're going to scroll down to Steam. Steam apps, common. Terraria, Content, Images, and you hit OK. There's your input folder. Now export, export folder, I would recommend making an entire new folder. I'm going to name it Terraria Images. And hit OK. After you have that set up, you see it right here on my desktop. It should extract it. And they should go right in there. Now this will normally take anywhere from 1 to 10 minutes depending on how good your PC is and I'll get to you when it's done. Alright guys, now that that's done, we'll hit finish, X out of T-Convert. I'm going to show you guys how to navigate through all these 12,000 images. 
So basically all this right here is going to be items that appear like, let's say, accessory stuff. Stuff that appears, you know, on your character. So this would be accessory, as you see here. Then we're going to scroll down to the next section. This is going to be your armor. Every type of armor that shows up. Backgrounds are obviously backgrounds. You got some extras and clouds and stuff like that. But really what we're going to get into is this. So here's your glow. These are anything that sort of glows in the dark in the game and they are a separate file attached on to whatever the original file is. The original files being these items down here. Go back up and I'll show you the gore. This is basically anything dead in the game whenever you finally kill it. It busts apart into pieces like this, like here's Betsy. And the main thing you'll be editing is the items. So we'll go on past that to the next part. This will be your NPCs, anywhere from bosses to the characters that spawn in, and even all your enemy types. Here is your player. Here's everything to do with, you know, the actual character you play. Here is your projectile. This has big parts to do with the items you saw earlier. So like, as you see here, this would be part of the Terror Blade, or this would be. It'll be what they shoot out. You'll be editing a lot of these if you're changing stuff. These would be tiles. Tiles are considered anything you can place in the game. You can edit them, but you have to edit them in the squares. As you see, they're split into fours. Walls work exactly the same way. And then you have your little bit of extra stuff here along with your wings. So that there is how to navigate in the end of part two. All right, guys, now to part three. So now you want to make your way back to your resource pack and go into the tutorial pack. And here you're going to want to open up your notepad. And now that you have this open up, you're going to want to head on over to the community forums and find this page right here. It's the ultimate guide to content creation and use for the Terraria workshop. And here you're going to have to find something called a JSON file. So go to creating your own resource pack. Scroll down till you see this right here. This is what your JSON file is. You're going to copy this. And you're going to paste it in here. And you have to make sure that you only change a certain amount of things or it will not work or even show up in the actual game. So first thing is pack name. You want to leave the exclamation or the parentheses I can't even think what those are you're gonna to to leave them quotation marks that's what they are big brain anyways you're gonna leave the quotation marks and type in what you want so this is gonna be the tutorial pack the author obviously is me and then a brief description of your pack Now these numbers down here you can change. You do not want to mess with any of this. But these down here you can change. And these will be changed when you edit your pack after you've published it. So after you've published it, it's obviously going to be released in 1.0. So anytime you make a small change, like say you added two resprites, well, that's going to be 1.1. Or anytime you in entirely release them, erase everything and redo all of it, it's going to be the big number, which then it's going to be 2.1. Anyways, since this is the first pack, we're going to name it, we we'll keep it 1.0. And then you're going to want to go to File, Save As. You want to go to your Documents, My Games, Terraria, Resource Packs, the pack you're editing. And then you want to stop here and save it here, but you have to name it a certain way. You want to name it pack.json, all lowercase for the JSON, make sure that's correct. And saving it this way allows it to create as a JSON file. So you want to save that in there. So now we exit out of that, and when we go here, it should show up. And there it is, and you see it changed it to a JSON file. So that will allow you to see it in the game. 
So that is the end of part three. Now we'll go on to part four, which is respriting. So when you resprite images, you're going to go to your images. And I'm also going to show you guys how to properly save images so you never have to re-download this stuff again. Unless, you know, obviously they add new things into the game. So something I want to change that's real easy. We'll go down to the items. Alright, we'll change this iron sword right here. You click on it. Click on edit and create. I edit with Paint 3D, but there's others that you can find, and you will find them in the forums. We'll go back to it, and I'll show you. Let's see, we'll go up to respriting, wherever it's at in the forums. Right here, it gives a list of all your editing tools and resources. So you're gonna to wanna to use some of this stuff. But like I said, I prefer Paint 3D, which came on my computer. So when using Paint 3D, some stuff I wanna teach you guys is you wanna click on this right here, the pixel pen, change it down to one pixel, and it makes it a lot easier. So when doing this, your canvas is gonna have a certain shape. You want to leave that exactly the same. Do not change this whatsoever or the game will not pick up on it. It will not even see it as an item anymore. So you're going to go back to your brushes and I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this sword yellow. So that's what color I want to make it. We'll give it a black handle. Let's say I want to put some green spikes on it. So, Alright, so guys, now I'm going to teach you guys how to properly save it. So if you do not save it properly, then you're going to have to re-download the whole entire pack if you ever want to re-sprite this image right here. So you're going to go to Menu, Save As, make sure you hit Save As, you go to your Images, you go to your Documents, My Games, Terraria, resource packs, your pack, content, images, and you want to keep the name of this the same as well. If you do change this at all, it will do the same thing and not pick it up. So you're going to want to save it here. So now that it's saved there, you want to X out of this and do not save it here. And therefore, when you X out of this, it stays the same and you can edit it again. But it will show up here. We'll go to content, images, and there's my item. So now for the next step guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do localization. So in the forums, it tells you guys basically how to get the CSV files. You can find them right here and download them. So when you download them, it'll show up in your downloads. We'll go back to my files, we'll open up a new one. downloads and you see I've downloaded them a couple times because I've had to do stuff so we'll open one up and I'll show you guys what they are and you probably will end up using Google Docs but this right here will basically give you everything you need to know to change names to change achievements to change dialogue in the game to change tool tips pretty much everything that has to do with wording in the game you change it here so you can hit control F to search stuff up and let's see and there it is. So we X out of this. Here's the iron broadsword. And this right here is going to be the name that you're going to want to save. So you're going to hit this and copy it. Now before we take that anywhere, I want to show you guys this before we leave this page because we're going to be Xing out of it. So this right here is going to be your languages in the game. Right here. So the first one is obviously English. And this is Spanish, French. So whatever language you guys are working with, that's what it's going to be. And just remember that. So like English is E-N-U-S. So we're going to X out of this without saving. And we're going to open up Notepad one more time. 
and in here you're going to want to type this stuff exactly key comma translation and then hit enter and if you guys again if you do not have this exactly the same it will not work so then you want to paste the item you want to edit the item name comma and your new name for it so the new name is going to be Iron Sword 1. Oh, and you do not want any spaces in between these two. You can have spaces here, but not in between the comma and this, or it will not work as well. So, if this is going to be the only thing you're editing, then you're going to go File, Save As. You're going to want to make your way all the way back to your files. But this time, you want to go to Localization. When you want to go here, you're going to name this exactly the same way as you did the other one. So you're going to name it n us for your language dot csv because that's what type of file you're going to want to change it to. And hit save. All right, then we'll exit out of that and we'll check up on our files to make sure it's the right way. There's our image localization and see it turns it into this you can also use Google Docs if you do not have Excel but when you click on it it should come up like here and once you have this the way you want it then you can keep adding on so like say I wanna Item name dot copper short sword, and then we'll go here and we're going to name this. We're going to name it Copper Killer. We're going to save it, X out of it, and now with all this stuff, it should show up in Terraria. And now, once you're in Terraria, you want to navigate to Workshop, use Resource Packs, and see it shows up. You want to hit enable. I'm going to disable mine. And we'll head into the game and see if it edits the right things. So I'm in journey mode. And I have a character that has all the items in the game. So we're going to search up. As you can see, it changed the look of it. And it also should have the name Iron Sword 1. So it has changed both of those. And now we'll check on the copper sword. And this one's name is Copper Killer. So that is, guys, is how you properly make a resource pack. And that, guys, is how you make a texture pack for Terraria. And in doing so, if you guys enjoyed the video or this helped out at all, please like the video. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a bunch. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.